Hey guys, hi Oaks. Um, Sam Banks part du, um when we were down for Mother's Day. So Sunday, the Sunday was Mother's Day. Um, we got up, we took the dogs for a really nice long walk on the beach, uh, went and had a coffee at the jazz cafe and made our way back. Um, <clears throat> we then kind of just chilled out for a couple of hours um, what, as we were gonna go to a nice Thai restaurant uh, for lunch, celebrate Mother's Day. Um, during the morning and over the past kind of three or four days, Oaks had been developing a little bit of a cough. Nothing really that gave us anything to worry about, but on the morning of the Sunday, it, you could tell it was just getting a little bit more heavy and a bit more uh, mucusy, I guess. So we kind of just kept an eye on it and didn't think too much of it. Went and had a lovely lunch, uh, and had some lovely food, and had some champagne and some beers and things like that. Um, nothing over the top. Uh, got back home and we could tell that Oaks was getting a lot more unsettled uh, and her temperature was starting to raise. So um, probably about three o'clock in the afternoon, uh, we were just um, watching watching episodes of Suits. Um, and about three o'clock in the afternoon, we decided that we'd give us some cowfall because uh, I particularly was worried um, <coughs> that her temperature was getting was getting high. Um, so we gave us some cowfall and within about 10, 15 seconds, she projectile vomited it up and everything else that was in her stomach. Now, yes, babies are sick, uh, but it wasn't like she was just, had a bit of suck, sick after a big feed or anything. She projectiled everywhere. And so that wasn't particularly nice and we obviously raised our alarm bells a little bit. Uh, so for the next three or four hours, probably till about seven o'clock in the evening, we just monitored her gave her lots of cuddles, she was still not settling very well, starting to moan and whine all the time. So Claire and I were getting a bit a bit more worried. Um, and then at seven o'clock, we decided to try and give her some more cowpole again. Um, exactly the same thing happened. She'd had some food in between three and seven, but not a huge amount. But um, when we gave her the cowpole again, just syringed it in, and she, within 15 seconds, threw everything up again. Um, so we decided to make the decision, um, she was pretty hot by this point, decided to make the decision to go into A&E uh, after calling 111 and that was the advice. So we went into A&E, got seen and triaged pretty quickly uh, and got straight through to the ward. Um, we were then, basically we were, they tried to give her more cow pole, didn't work again, so they ended up sticking some paracetamol up her bum, um, which obviously she didn't like. Uh, so lots more crying, lots more whining, lots more moaning, and still that that cough. Um, and she still wasn't feeding particularly well. It got to about mm, well half past midnight, so twelve thirty, or potentially on the Monday morning, and the A and E ward sent us up to paediatrics. Um, we then st stayed there, um, monitored. She was monitored um, till about four thirty in the morning. Uh, again, tried to give her some more cowpole, didn't work. So she had some more paracetamol up her bum and still very unhappy baby, basically. Uh, it's quite distressing for Claire and I to see that as well, particularly as it's the first time. You never really know if you're doing the right thing, if she has just got a bit of a fever. Um, <clears throat> Claire and I are both, both very conscious that we don't want to be putting the staff and the people in the, in the NHS out, and I know we, we're not. Um, but there's always, there's always waiting uh, in A&E and this kind of thing, and there's always more important things, so we don't want to be those uh, paranoid parents. <clears throat> but it turns out, you know, they didn't actually diagnose her with her or anything, apart from saying it was a virus. Um, uh, her heart rate was about 170, and her temperature got up to 39 degrees at one point, so it's pretty, pretty scary stuff. Uh, but eventually they discharged us at 4.30 in the morning on Monday. Um, and basically told us to, to monitor her and really try and drip feed a cow pole. Uh, and when I say drip feed, I mean actual drips, um, which we which we managed to do throughout the day, primarily on Monday. Um, but we went back to the house down in Pool. Um, we got a couple of hours kit and slowly made our way back on Monday. Uh, good news is she's feeling a bit better now. She's feeding more and her temperature's down. Um, she's still got this nasty cough. Um, and she kindly threw up all over me yesterday as uh, Claire was having a massage. Um, but she's on the mend and uh, Claire and Oaks have gone out today 
uh, just to get some fresh air and see some different scenery. So yeah, a bit of a long post, but um, just wanted to give you guys an update on how Oaks is doing. She's, she's fine now, but ultimately quite a scary experience. Um, and make sure you just call 111 and follow the advice that you've been given. All right, guys, uh, I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.